Morning everyone, how are we doing? My name is James Welsh, I am the author of Corroborating Evidence, the UFO Investigation of the Millennium, published on July 8th, 2014, and today is the 4th of June, 2022. Now, I'm just doing a second video on the Missouri case with regards to this craft. Now, I'm going to take this image right now and save it, and um, I'm going to save it into folder 58 because that's where I took the other screen, I took a screenshot of it, I learned just threw that into frame, folder frame 58 and there's a reason why I'm throwing it into folder frame 58 um, because uh, I recognise something so I'm going to take a copy of this, I'm going to um, highlight something on paint and then I'll pull that up, I'll pull that up, and then I will pull up the crossover. So today's a special announcement. Um, I cannot believe what I have just done. Um, I had already made connections to the um, to the Mississippi case that connected it both with Illinois and the STS-103 Hubble Service and Mission which took place in December 1999 and the Illinois events took place 11 days later on the 5th of January 2000. My events took place on the 4th, 10th, 11th, 14th, 15th and 25th of December 1999. So this is why I've been researching this now for 22 years. So we're going into frame 58. And it's the file name is saucer. So yeah, we'll just save you in there. And you go, pal. In the frame folder fifty eight. Go go go. Save save save. No, we don't want to call it Adam. No, that's just. No no no. So what's it doing? It's saying save as Adam. No, save as saucer. This is incredible. This is absolutely bloody incredible. I cannot believe what I have done. Now, like I say, I have already, as soon as I seen this, I recognised what it was because I had conducted so much, um, why is it failed? What do you mean failed? Download. Um, I'm having bad Wi-Fi problems this morning. Maybe that's what it is. Um, Okay, forget, forget about it, forget about it. Um, in fact, I can't because I need to, I need to do a screensaver right now. Unless I've got one here already. Um, yes, I'll take that. That will do me fine. Right, boom, we're going to draw a couple of wee lines on this. I'm going to draw them in white. Uh, hopefully, decent size. Right, I'm going to outline this just now. So we have a line coming down here, so there we have that, and then it's this bit I want to draw your attention to, I'm going to put this in red. Now, oops, no, red's no good, so back to white, white, no black, no blue, ah! Um, okay, this area here, now as I come up here, okay, and here, so forget about that big first long line I drew. See this very, very specific uh, wee pyramid I've drawn here. Let's jump over to Lunapic. Um, and now look specifically. Let's see if I can save it this time. I saved that time. Right, so we know what we're looking for now, right? We are looking for that very specific area that I've just pointed out. That wee pyramid. Um, there, right? So we'll bring this down, we'll keep this open. So forget, as I say, forget about that long bar. The long bar, just that other, the wee pyramid itself. And you can see it there on the original article. And now we jump over to Winnipeg. So keep that wee pyramid in mind. Well, reviewing this. Okay. So, I'll bring the transparency back up. So, we know what we're looking for. You can see it. It's like a wee black pyramid now. See it? 
So we get the long bit. Uh, what did I do there? Right, okay. So, okay. So that long bit, that's what we're looking for, okay? Uh, not the long bit, sorry, sorry, the pyramid, the pyramid. Right, okay, keep an eye on that area where it turns into a wee dark pyramid, right? <laughs> Have I made that abundantly clear, everyone? Right, okay, so let's get this out of the road. So now we can see that little black pyramid, yeah? And there he is, right, there's, whoops. There's that little black pyramid, right? And then we'll set transparency. Now watch this. And now, for the grand finale. Now look at the tips on the right hand side. And look at that little pyramid black area. I'll bring it in. If I move that for there, that sits. I'm just trying to get, make sure I get it absolutely spot on. There. So let me just mess a bit with us now. There we go. I've managed to find the orientation. This is incredible. Um, this takes me back to the start of the year when uh, I overlapped this with frame 73 to try and find out the orientation of the craft when I identified that this was the trenches between these two laser tracks. And uh, this allowed me to um, basically identify the position of the craft and that photo will orientate its position as I say. Um, so there's that black area, that little pyramid area. See? Let me just check that actually. Just want to see how if I'm out any in any way, but I don't think I am. I really don't think there they go, they match perfect right there. Those two tips, right? So if we come up above that little black pyramid area that I pointed out, and we now run an eye along the right hand side of the what we see with that light that comes into every point. And then we'll match that point up uh, with the wee pyramid. So, I mean, obviously the pyramid and that little point there. Now, I just bring that down. And there you have it. I've just managed to find out the orientation of this craft in the deer camera footage um, by doing this. So there you have it. Um, it was in the process of turning around uh, in that still image. And there you can see all that matches. All of that matches perfectly. There it is. Look at that. So, today's the 4th of June, 2022, time is now 11.29am, and uh, there you have it, so, Woody's making that, um, 10 seconds and a quarter, okay. yeah, 